Thanks for joining me again on Walking Through the Word. I am Josiah Espinoza. Today we're going to be reading Ephesians chapter 6. So if you have your Bibles, open them with me as we walk through the Word together. Last time we left off with uh, Paul writing to the church in Ephesus about the necessity of submitting to one another. And he continues this teaching in chapter 6 by saying, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother. This is the first commandment with a promise, that it may go well with you, and that you may live long in the land. It is in the best interest of the child to be able to love their parents in an honorable way, to respect their parents, because God promises that if a child were to respect their parents, to honor their parents, that it will go well with them, that they will live a long and and fruitful life. And I know that for most children, especially in this age, um, in this millennia, we have children who do not desire to listen to the parents, who do not desire to give honor to their parents, who do not desire to give respect to their parents because they have no respect for authority. They have no respect for their parents. So it's very difficult to train a child in the ways of the Lord so that they would fear God and obey their parents and respect their parents. But nevertheless, God commands it of us that we are to honor our father and our mother. And not just when we're children, but when we're adults. And especially when our parents are older, if if there's anything more true about our culture is that um, the older the parents get, the less honor their children give them. They put them in nursing homes, they are forgotten, they are not cared for. They just kind of put them away. And it's contrary to what God desires of His children. Verse 4, Fathers, do not provoke your children to anger, but bring them up in the discipline and instruction of the Lord. There, It's so sad when parents, especially when fathers, are not around, do not love their children, do not desire to raise their children in a God-honoring way, when they don't desire to train their children in the fear of the Lord, or in the discipline and instruction of God. We have a massive problem with fatherlessness in America. Motherlessness isn't so prevalent. It's fatherlessness that is causing great problems in our youth today. More than 50%. Some would even estimate up to 80% of homes do not have fathers. And if they do have fathers, they have no active engagement in raising the children. And that's a real problem. That's a real problem because God has designed for fathers, for men to be the leaders of the home, to train the children. And to do it in a way that is God-honoring, not to beat your children or to harass your children or to destroy your children you are to build them up in love and encouragement in the discipline and instruction of God to teach them the things of God and in doing so they will respect and honor you this is how we are to submit to one another children submit to your parents fathers ensure that you gain the respect so that they would submit to you Verse 5. Bond servants, obey your earthly masters with fear and trembling, with a sincere heart as you would Christ. Not by the way of eye service, as people pleasers, but as bond servants of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart. The majority of the population, if not um, more than half of the population during that time, were slaves. They would sell themselves into service, um, either to a rich a rich person or to um, 
or to a military service, they would sell their service. They would sell themselves into service in order to provide for their families and for themselves. And so the majority of the population were slaves. That's how most of them got their payments. That's how most of them survived. That's how most of them um, received um, the means to be able to provide for food and water and clothing. And so Paul is telling them, look, if you if you are a slave, if you owe your master your body to be able to work, do it. Do it with fear and with trembling, with a sincere heart. As you would Christ, just as you would serve Christ with fear and trembling, doing it, do it with your masters. Do it with the people who are in charge of you. And the same thing is true today. If you have a job and you uh, are working at a company, and maybe not you're not necessarily a slave, but you are providing a certain service to a company or to... Um, or to some kind of organization or some kind of institution, make sure that you do it with fear and trembling, with a sincere heart. Don't do it as eye service. Don't do it so you can please others. Do it because as boss servants of Christ, you're doing the will of God in whatever employment you find yourself. So make sure that you render your service, like it says in verse 7, rendering your service with a good will as to the Lord and not to man. Verse 8, knowing that whatever good anyone does, this he will, he will receive from the Lord, whether he is a bondservant or is free. And masters do the same to them. And stop your threatening, knowing that he who is both their master and yours is in heaven and that there is no partiality with him. Paul's not saying that slavery is okay, that we should be able to own slaves. But he's actually writing about the realities of his own community during that time. And he's giving moral statements about what servants and masters should be doing for one another, how they should treat one another. And the same thing is true today. If you have a business and you have employees under you, don't threaten them. Don't abuse your position. Don't treat them harshly. Don't mistreat your employees. Employees, Treat them fairly. Do it in the fear and the trembling of God. And if you work for an employer, do it in the fear and the trembling of God. This is how we are to submit to God and submit to one another. And in this, we are doing God's will. This is how we're supposed to submit to one another. Children, obey your parents. Parents, especially fathers. Don't provoke your children to wrath, but instruct them in the ways of the Lord. Servants and slaves, employees, work hard. Work as if you were doing it unto Christ. And masters or managers, employers, make sure you treat your employees correctly. I hope you have been blessed by this message and that you would take this to heart. And may the Lord richly bless you and keep you until next time on Walking Through the Word.